So hello everybody. Today we will discuss about acute leukemias. So when this diagnosis comes home as blood cancer, everyone is kind of shocked and the whole family is shattered. But what I would tell you today and what I would like you to know that this is not the end of the world. There are many things that you must know because this is a diagnosis where treatment is required and the earlier you can start treatment the better it is. The right kind of treatment makes a difference and so it's all about information, information and information that is important when a diagnosis like this comes to you. So if we have to discuss acute leukemias then there are two types of acute leukemias depending on the cell from where they arise and they are termed as the lymphoid leukemias and the myeloid leukemias and in the course of these videos we will have more information available about each of these subtypes the management of each of these subtypes the new treatments that have come up and what if this disease comes back and we i will have my colleagues speaking on acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoid leukemia and we must also know that besides the treatment a lot of emphasis is on making the patient and the family strong making the support group strong and so a lot of counseling and psychological help is required in the initial phases of these treatments till one comes on terms with it and continues the treatment sometimes as i said despite all treatments this disease comes back or it is of an extremely high risk for the disease returning which is called as recurrence of the disease and in those patients we do advise them to consolidate their treatment with bone marrow transplant which will also be discussed in the series of this particular video series the most important thing that comes to everybody's mind when heavy treatments are given is what can i eat what should i do and how should i go about my daily routine so besides the treatment supportive care becomes extremely important we start with putting in what is called as the PICC or the PIC line which is a centrally inserted catheter which gives us the ease to give treatment and to do the blood tests that are required most frequently when we are treating patients of acute leukemia we also have to have a lot of nutrition care during this period of time and that will also be covered in great details during the video that will be on supportive care and nutrition most importantly one must remember that there will be a time when the treatment ends you will go back to work and there are many patients who have been treated and now are back into their normal activity some have had children after they have got married some have grown up to be young adults who are making great uh, feats in life we have patients who were, have become athletes chartered accountants doctors and some even have run, run the ramp and have become beauty queens in their own areas so listen to the videos carefully if you need any help there are people available to help you and uh, you will make it through the treatment if this disease does in fact come home thank you